What's this? Uh, Kellen just left this paper lying around. I'm, I'm not Kellen, by the way. I'm, I, my hair is a lot different. See, I have a pen in it and I'm quirky. I'm a nerd. I just totally did a final. Wait, is that, is that four lines of code? What's going on guys? It's Allie. Just kidding. I killed Allie and locked his entire family in the basement. Please, you can send as many SWAT teams as you want. I will gun you all down. So today guys, as you can see from the intro, I have wrote four lines of code. Wrong one. I have wrote, um, I have wrote four lines of code on on this piece of paper for my game. Uh, it says Z-A-I if you look very closely. But I think I did E-Bastard. I'm dyslexic, so it doesn't matter. You can't make fun of me. Uh, so it's an A1, so it just means, uh, that's, that's supposed to be an I, I don't know why I put A1. Uh, I'm dyslexic, um, yeah, I'm really dyslexic, if you couldn't tell, but, uh, uh, yeah, what was I gonna say again? Yeah, I wrote four lines of code for my game, this has been devlog1, oh yeah, I also have this masterpiece here, as you can see on the right. There's a rusted car left solitude and destitute. Just kidding. This is uh, this is concept art for my game, and I call it. I call it bold and brash. Thank you, Squid, for the act. What whoever voice act is Squidward for lending his lovely voice. He didn't. I use a meme sound word. Uh, I'm dink as hell, kids. So yeah, I just did this on concept art. So the one on the car, aka the bold and the brash. Um, yeah, it's a like concept art for a car. I'm going to have to tweak it a little bit when I bring it into Photoshop to do it. But, um, yeah, so I also did some guns and stuff because this is America. That joke is really old and isn't probably even open anymore. But, yeah, as you can show the back, I'm going to, so this is going to be like a, whatchamacallit, uh, freaking... Yeah, so this is the starting map area, the, one of the spawn points. I haven't gotten them all yet, but I'm thinking of an office for one. The game, I've just started being able to do develop it on it. But, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to showcase today. Uh, yeah, so that's been Devlog Episode 1. And you know what's coming up next. You've seen the title of this video. It's the Cardboard Armor. It's not a joke. I'm actually gonna do the cardboard armor. Wait for this intermission. Okay, okay, boomerang. Whatever you say, boomerang. Okay, okay, boomerang. Yeah, boomerang. Whatever you say, boomerang. Okay, okay, boomerang. Yeah, boomerang. Whatever you say, boomerang. Okay, okay, boomerang. Whatever you say. Shut up, intermission. Shut up, intermission. You're not useful anymore. Shut up, shut up, shut up, intermission. Intermission! Shut up, you're not welcomed! Intermission! Intermission! Be quiet, intermission! Intermission! Shut up! Go to your... Thank you, intermission. So, as you can see here, I am wearing this great cardboard armor. Fun fact, it protects against bullets. It protects against bullets. Don't look at me like that. I'm giving them legitimate tips of how to survive bullet wounds. See this armor? This will protect them from a tank round, Mom. A tank. <laughs> yes, it will protect them from a tank. Don't laugh. It's not funny. This is a revolutionary piece of armor technology. Yes. Leave. I'm showing them how to protect themselves from tank rounds. I'll be quieter if that's what you came out to do. I'm trying to make sure you're okay. I wasn't screaming, was I? Okay, so as I was saying, this will totally and definitely, at all costs, protect you from tank armor, obviously, as all pieces of cardboard do. Fun fact, we should just all, fun fact, people who survived the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki were in cardboard boxes. Who would have thought? So yeah, um, 
freaking, uh, I made this over a month ago and started promising it over a month ago. But yeah, literally it's just some corrugated cardboard. It's gonna look for a samurai feel. Uh, strings, crap, throw it all together. Get your Minecraft crafting table out. Slap that baby on there. Um, yeah, and then look at this. See this Space Marine armor? High tech, futuristic, carbon fiber, titanium, space metal, armor, laden crap with exo fiber skeleton super shoulder and hands yeah, you're basically in on par with a warhammer 40k space marine at this point so that is true and i'm going to show you how to make it so first you're going to want to do is going to plan out your armor you can't see it now because it's out of frame and i couldn't expend my totally existent editing budget but you're going to want to Draw up a rectangular shape. Draw some symbols on it. Yeah, boy. Draw some what's-ups. Some Japanese characters, because we're all in an anime. Uh, some shoulder pads if you want that crap. Uh, I had a crown before, but I threw it. I don't know where it is. Uh, it's good, because it looks cringy as hell. Uh, plan out where your bits are going to go. Boom, you have a fully functioning piece of armor that can uh, survive the, withstand the force of a nuclear bomb, and you're better than a space marine now. So yeah, on serious note, so literally we're going to do, drop a picture like this, this wasn't just for a meme. Literally just figure out the way the army's going to fit on your body. I got my mom to help me, uh, freaking tie in these, this is, these are two different pieces of cardboard attached in the middle with another piece of cardboard that's also tied to them, and then these armored corrugated bits are, are also tied in and also taped in on the sides so they don't move around too much and then this back plate it doesn't need to be too much heavily armored it's just cut out like a body armor insertion rectangle shape here on your back like so uh throw in a melatonin bottle to put your enemies to sleep wait does that work Don't breathe that in. That's probably not good for my lungs. Um, smoking kid, stead kid, it's much healthier. So yeah, what you're gonna wanna do, and then you're gonna wanna, there was bits and, then I see how I drew here, you can just draw some bits and bobs on crap, like, what's up, bro, upside down. That's how I wrote normally, hashtag dyslexia life. Uh, yeah, just draw what's up, upside down, if you're dyslexic like me, uh, freaking. Yeah, that's the day, uh, I found my stylus finally. That's not related to the video. I need to plug my computer in. So yeah, uh, tank round stopping armor 100% effective against everything. Sorry if you can see a cord going across the screen. Uh, you can't see the screen, but. Yeah, so that's what you're gonna wanna do. I recommend, the only reason I was able to do this is because I had cardboard freaking rolling around everywhere. I moved to a new house with my mom, her boyfriend, her two kids, Two Fortnite Fortnite assessed little craps in the other room, but other otherwise, it's good. You know, it's all good, man. It's it's all freaking good here. So yeah, you want to take your basic thing like this, make it actual functional. It took me like a day to build this. Just cut some crap out of cardboards. If you don't have a ruler like me, or don't bother using a ruler, cause you can't count them to more than. I can actually count pretty high. I know numbers. I just don't know how to spell anything. Oh my god, the folds in my neck. Try stand up. Just cut some crap. See, I told you these two symmetrical pieces. You know how I got them looking so symmetrical and perfect? Look how symmetrical those are. Uh, I didn't do this for this part, but literally just when you cut some crap, make sure that crap looks good. I'm saying crap off a lot of crap. Uh, cut some crap. Trace that crap onto another piece of cardboard. Uh, save nature, cardboard, hashtag unless you survive nuclear bombs. See, you get the cardboard crap, you get some stuff to hold it together like that, you get some strings, you get a back piece, then you're good to go. Then you cut a bunch of corners from your original design, and you uh, mix that into a proverbial suit of cardboard, you tape it together really securely, once I mind you, t stops tank rounds, that joke is getting old, but it does, I'm seriously telling you, it starts tank rounds, you can try, you can storm Area 51, if everybody was just wearing this, they wouldn't get blown to pieces, 
Probably protects against alien bullets, for all I know. For all I know. So yeah, totally just go, test it on a car, get your ribs winded, get punched by the guy that killed Houdini, get your spleen fractured. Um, yeah, so it's some cardboard stuff now, the video that's been long awaited. Uh, peace in the Middle East, let's pay, play the outro. Yeah, dudes, yes, squeen. That me makes me cringe. I want to die. Please send help to Ali A's family. I have them locked in my basement, and there's nothing you can do. That's what you wonder why I so has this this morning? Because I used the thing. When the FBI came, freaking bullets bounced right off. Just like little pebbles. That's the noise I made. Not even a gunshot, not even a muzzle flash. Look, look. You're going to have the hit marker sound effect if I can find it. I'm going to find the hit marker. Hit marker sound effect, hit marker sound effect. Uh, it literally was just like, it was just like, totally like this. And also, it allows, gives you super strength, by the way. Allows you to carry a garbage truck and, or beat your brother to, and then put him in the garbage. But yeah, dude. Uh, so the FBI would have been like oh, this. baby, a triple. FBI. Oh, yeah. The FBI wouldn't be would have been like that if they rushed into my house. I would have taken the hostages down with me. But if they had rushed into Ali's house earlier, I wasn't wearing this crap. They would have been like bang, bang, bang. They brought out the battering ram. Should have fractured my ribs. I know. But yeah, totally. So that's the end of the video. And. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Support me on Patreon at Mailbox, at Mailbox Games or Mailbox Studio Games. Either one of those will probably work. Uh, all lowercase. I'm fairly. Um, I'm g sure of one of those. I'm. It's Mailbox Games. Yeah, I just remembered it. Uh, nobody's supporting me on Patreon yet, so you better go do that, or I will find you and I will kill you. Ah, dang it, the FBI again. It's not gonna work. You might as well be firing Nerf guns. You might as well be fire. Oh, uh, did you just call a child the B word? Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna expose you. I'm gonna expose you. Stop! It's it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Look, it's just bouncing crap right off. Oh, what you're gonna bring out Godzilla? What, he's gonna break my ribs in my entire house and step on me? Aren't you worried about the hostages at this point? I'm wearing cardboard armor. See, that's an effectiveness in action. Godzilla, shut up. Shut up, I love you. I love you, Godzilla, but be quiet. So, uh, b bye, guys. Um, don't forget to like, like, and, like, 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 and, like, and subscribe. Oh, what, you're gonna bring out the nuke? Do you hear how people actually survived Hiroshima? None of that. Those Libra media outlets controlling your mind. No, they used cardboard. Here's the new coming in. You hear it? You can't because it's too loud. Oh my god, I just went. Oh! <laughs> See, I, I told you. I'm completely blind, so I'm going to need to shut off the video now. I think I opened the Apple. The video editor. Where, where is it? I wish I was live. So, sorry about that. It's a miracle I pressed that mute button. Like, I totally have sight, but I really don't have sight. Look at this. I just pressed it on my eyeball very, very softly. That's proving me that they're, that they're going blind. Oh, what? I'm going to die of cancer anyways. I mean, you can't shoot me now. It's unfair. You basically took advantage of my disability at this point. Uh, I hope this is the off recording button or else this is gonna, video is going to go on for a while. Without further ado, this won't actually start taking rounds. Uh, don't use this to stop bullets. Um, it's just a fun craft for kids. <laughs> 
Uh, let me find my outro, and the video will end. Finally, I know I've been torturing you in this room for I don't know how long. Um, I need to find Thomas the Dank Engine. My favorite, my favorite. Drop it like it's hot, drop it like it's hot.